good day everyone we will discuss about availability group synchronous secondary replica going offline in this video let's get started this representation shows how a synchronous secondary replica resynchronizes with the primary replica after it goes offline and comes back online when the synchronous secondary replica goes down its status changes from synchronized to not synchronizing with this change in the status to not synchronizing the primary replica stops waiting for an acknowledgement from the secondary replica and starts treating it as an uh, asynchronous replica this ensures that commit on the primary replica are not affected due to an synchronous secondary replica being down while a secondary replica is down and is part of the availability group any transaction log entries that are not hardened by all the replicas in an ag are retained by the primary replica database this ensures that when the secondary replica comes back online it can receive all the log blocks that it hasn't hardened yet this can cause the transaction log on the primary and other healthy secondary replicas to grow so in this scenario what happens is like let's consider you have uh, one primary replica and uh, uh, three secondary synchronous replicas and let's consider there is one synchronous secondary replica that is being down even though uh, the primary replica is able to send um, data across to other two uh, synchronous secondary replica that are healthy what happens is like the transaction log size will keep on growing with the incoming data till the down secondary replica comes online and uh, gets all its um, uh, data from the primary replica so till then the transaction log on all the replicas uh, um, uh, will be growing and uh, this can only reduce when all the uh, available secondary replicas or all, all the uh, secondary replicas for that availability group comes online and syncs with the primary replica once the secondary replica is uh, brought back online so let's consider that uh, the secondary replica jbs ag2 comes back online and uh, in that case what happens is like it establishes a connection with the primary replica and sends its uh, lsn details to the primary replica so what happens is like as soon as the secondary replica jbs ag2 comes online it basically establishes a connection with the primary replica and then it sends across its lsn details uh, to the primary replica and uh, once uh, uh, this is uh, uh, sent across what happens is like um, uh, the primary replica then starts sending it uh, log block based on the received lsn details to the secondary replica as soon as the secondary replica starts receiving these log blocks and updates its into the database its status changes to synchronizing just to understand it is uh, uh, initially it was not synchronizing when the JBS AG2 secondary replica was down and it, once it comes online and starts getting the log blocks from the primary replica the status basically changes to synchronizing so this indicates that the secondary replica is connected to the primary and is basically catching up with the primary replica point to note here is that Till it catches up with the primary replica even though the secondary replica is synchronous it will be treated as an asynchronous replica the secondary replica keeps hardening the log blocks keeps applying the hardened transaction with the redo thread and keeps sending this information back to the primary replica this goes on until the lsn details of the primary and secondary replica are same as soon as it happens that is uh, the lsn information as far as the primary replica and secondary replica is same the status of the secondary replica changes to synchronized from um, uh, synchronizing and from there primary replica will treat the secondary replica as synchronous that is the primary replica starts waiting on an acknowledgement for the commit from the secondary replica before letting the user know that the transaction has been committed successfully that's it for this video thanks for watching have a great day jai hind